During my, uh, my professional life as an engineer working in the energy space, I always uh, build up a lot of uh, different frustration as you, you do all kinds of projects uh, trying to um, perfection the energy spending of the building uh, in different type of building around the world. And you, um, you always come to the, the conclusion that no matter how good you do this project, um, when you leave, you leave. The building is start to, to operate on its own. Um, the way you configured it, uh, and then things start to drift. Uh, and when you come back a year later to look at that project, uh, you realize that it's not working exactly perfectly well as it was when you finished your project. Uh, things happen. And, and it was about at that time, and, and we're back in 2014, 2015. Um, it was about that, that time that I uh, had the chance to, to meet uh, uh, Sean Neely. Um, and this, this meeting is kind of a, an interesting story in itself. Um, as it was uh, where we're pivoting from uh, 2015 to 2016, uh, December 31st, uh, pretty late at night in the party, and I meet, you know, a couple of glasses of champagne, and I, I meet Sean Neely, and uh, the regular chit chat when you meet people for the first time, uh, what industry are you in? And he says, uh, energy efficiency. And I look at him and I was like, really? Um, so am I. Um, and then the discussion started. And I think, I think, for the next two hours, we just exchange on what he was doing, what I was doing, where the industry is going, uh, what could be done better. And it was really at that moment, um, I think I actually we even noticed that we, we went into from 2015 to 2016. Um, it was, I think, my wife that came to me and said, oh, by the way, uh, Happy New Year. So Sean Neely was coming from the uh, real estate world, um, spent his career operating building. Uh, buying building, uh, selling building. Uh, and I was coming from the engineering world where I was trying to make building operate in a better fashion uh, in terms of energy spending. Uh, and the two together, uh, we felt that we had the two pieces of the puzzle that fitting together both of our knowledge, we could put together this application of the technology that, that's being used in an autonomous car into the building space. Um, where. The technology is driving the car itself, and the human is not driving it anymore at all. Um, looking at all of the moving parts, looking at the, the bicycle, the, the cat which is about to cross the street, uh, the kids which are playing balls uh, on the side of the street, uh, other cars that are going left, right, slowing down, accelerating, and they're managing to use these algorithms to drive the car in real time without killing or hitting anything. Uh, uh, and, and looking at that uh, improvement, but if they could do this with car, um, we should be able to do the same thing with building. And, and that it was the moment where it was clear in my head that we should use the same technology they're using in these other industries, like the autonomous car, and apply it to building. It's, um, it's, it's quite fascinating to play with, with uh, uh, AI. Uh, and I would, I would precise like deep learning uh, these neural network, which um, I ingest a lot of information, they learn from it, uh, and they then they, they 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 do some command and control, and then they see the impact of these command and control, and then they learn from that uh, reaction uh, of what they did, um, exactly like a like a children, which is learning how to walk or learn to how to speak, and you see the day after day the progress, and they they become eventually very good at it. And that's how the, the adventure started. Uh, so, um, 2016, all the way to 2019, it's really, uh, how can we do it? Let's, let's draw the plan, let's see what we need, um, how much money do we need, um, who should we hire? And then starting to build that, that technology. Uh, in, uh, and in May 19, it's the, what we call the launch, the commercial launch of the company where where we have our own website, we, uh, we have our name, and we're starting to tell the public that we do exist, we have this technology, and we are starting the commercialization steps for uh, putting that technology on the market. Um, the growth from that point was, was just astonishing. Um, 
if I, I barely remember uh, May 19 where the few building we had um, and how fast it went from that point during that summer and during the fall, how many buildings that we onboarded, uh, not only in Canada, but, but in the States and Australia. Um, and now, now we're reaching the point where I, actually I'm at a hard time knowing how many country we're in because we're adding a new country every week. Um, to receive this endorsement from the Time Magazine, to be part of that list of uh, the Time Best Inventions of the Year, um, was for us like uh, a, a huge. Not only because it's uh, very few Canadian company could claim this uh, to be part of that list, uh, but it was also uh, the first time that the Time magazine was adding this uh, artificial intelligence category, and we were a part of that inaugural uh, group of company that, that were part of that, that recognition. So for us, it, it was huge, um, uh, and, and for sure, it's, 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 we're already seeing the impact. Uh, we just received that, that, that award. Uh, last week and we start to see like the number of people which are contacting us and then want to know more about the technology they want to understand what it does um, and if they could try it um, so so it, it's it's going to be huge in the next month uh, uh, we're really reaching a, a new level in the evolution of the company because of, because of this this uh, uh, endorsement from the time magazine at Brainbox AI, one of our core value is uh, we know we are out of time. Uh, and all of our employees really work very hard to make a significant impact on the planet and basically making sure that our technology is delivered uh, as fast as possible in as many buildings as possible. And um, quite honestly, um, it feels very good to see that we're making a significant impact.